Intel says they're not doing the naughty things. Also, Tesla has been lying about how far their cars can go. Shocked. And there's going to be no 4090 Ti and the 5090 might be faster than you thought it was. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Friday, July 28th, 2023. If you're watching hot news right now, we are likely in a hotel room because we finally got to Seattle and then we're gonna be going to LTX after that, but we'd love to have you join us for the streams as we continue up to Seattle and for the LTX Expo that's gonna be going on this weekend. We are giving away an i9 13900K RTX 4090. If you come and watch and participate in all of that, we'd love to have you there. It's gonna be good stuff. But what was some of the bad stuff we talked about this week was how there was reports coming out, especially from Germany, that Intel was planning a price hike on their current gen CPU lineup. And typically what happens in this scenario is that Intel decides they're not gonna talk about this because it's just a rumor and they don't necessarily comment on speculation. However, in this instance, Intel has come out and said that we can confirm that Intel has not sent the letter described to customers or partners and has not initiated a price change to its CPU portfolio at this time. We have no further comment to share on the matter. I think this is some good news. It's also a good reason why to keep an open mind when we talk about things that are developing behind the scenes. They're not official until they're officially official, but also Intel saying that they have no plans to do something also doesn't mean they're not going to do it, but it's also not the burden on them is not to prove that they're not going to raise the price. So it's a it's a chicken in the Gila mustard scenario. Which which one gets who? The jellyfish. That's the right answer. And you know what is the right answer? Today's video is sponsored. Today's video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. And as many of you know, I was recently bedridden from severe nerve pain in my neck. During that time, my mind raced at all of the things that I just couldn't do, like cook, clean, take care of myself, work, didn't even film hot news, or even take care of my kids. Now, thankfully, we found out that my nerve pain stemmed from having shingles and not from any sort of injury, but it was scary to see how quickly my life changed just overnight. And I have been constantly running through the scenarios of how possible it is to have an injury just upend my life from an accident or otherwise. But thankfully, I know that the one thing I wouldn't be daunted by is the process of getting an injury claim submitted. Because with Morgan & Morgan, submitting an injury claim is so easy. Morgan & Morgan has modern the injury law process so you can submit a claim and have it reviewed by a lawyer without ever having to leave your couch. And as somebody who is in nerve pain, that's a big deal. Not having to get up and do anything. You can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical records, and doctor's bills all from your phone. You can even text with your attorney and case manager without ever having to go into the office. And when you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things you should do. And with Morgan & Morgan, submitting a claim is so easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan when they're injured in an accident. So if you're ever in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan, submit a claim in eight clicks or less, and you can have America's largest injury law firm fighting for you. You can get started at forthepeople.com forward slash UFD or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Big thanks again to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring today's video. And just like Morgan & Morgan is a great idea for, for us and everything that's going on with us driving across to the country just to be ready and prepared. One of the things we're doing is driving in a Ford F-150 Lightning. Part of that is because of a lot of complications that I've had with Tesla behind the scenes with the cannonball and a lot of other stuff that's going on. Turns out that this may have been a wider problem than was otherwise known. So Reuters coming out with a report indicating that Tesla not only has been intentionally lying about the maximum range of their vehicles, and we're not talking about the range that they quote on their website. Everybody knows that those are bupkis, but they're talking about the range that the vehicle tells you it can go while it's charging. Allegedly, this has been a lie in many different scenarios. And it turns out that with customers that were publicly complaining about this, Tesla was canceling their service appointments so that they would go away and stop complaining about it. I hate everything about that. That is wild that, that if, if true, which given the amount of evidence that Reuters has put forward in their documents, it seems like there's at least some substantive claims here going on. Um, I, I can agree that I had those problems. I didn't publicly complain about it. I was just like, it's part of being an early adopter. Things are going to be weird and broken. I, the F-150 Lightning has been spot on as far as like me being able to trust the range across the entire United States trying to get to Canada. It's been wonderful for us. I want to see uh, how this plays out. We'll keep you updated 
on anything that's happening there. And Reese is gonna update you with some of the deals. Give us the deals, Reese. Boom. Awesome. Hey friends, welcome back to UFT Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals on the internet. I got some car deals for you. Not really, then not car based. You know what I mean. Because first up, we have the Crucial P5 Plus Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD. The two terabyte version is currently going for only $97.99, making, according to this listing, $222 off, which is 69%, and the only reason I included that. But in reality, it's more like a, a usual 120, 130 value. It's still good, good deal. But then we have another Crucial deal rolling in with the Crucial Pro DDR5 RAM kit. This 32 gig kit runs at 5,600 megahertz at CL46, and it's going for only $89.99, making it $25 off. And then lastly, we have the Thermaltake Core V1 Extreme Mini ITX Cube Case. This tiny little cute boy. $34.99 after rebate with the promo code that's included there, making it a dollar, dollar sign, $15 off. For 35 bucks, not a bad deal for a Mini ITX Cube Boy. I wrote that when I was in a rush because okay. my battery's dying. You're also like not sitting in frame, so I had to hold the camera over on your face the entire time. That's fine. They can look at the deals, not my face. Well, you know, they can also look at who's tracking them now because one of the problems that's been happening with Apple's AirTags is that they're be being used for nefarious purposes. And Apple combated that because you can have it alert an iPhone that an AirTag is tracking you or other things. We thought we left my AirPods in a previous city because they got a notification on my phone. Well, it turns out that Android has now finally rolled out their AirTag tracker alert which will give Android users notifications directly to their phone that somebody has been trying to spy on them. But they're also pausing their Find My program that they were going to be rolling out. They're not doing that moving forward with that at the current moment. And big bummer for anybody who wanted to drop thousands of dollars on a gaming GPU. Turns out, oh, at least in, according to a well-known leaker, the 4090 Ti is not happening. Can we get the biggest? Oh, man. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, shuckaroonies. The 4090 Ti allegedly being canceled. However, there are reports that there's going to be a low grade version of the 4070 and the 4060, which is, of course, what everybody's clamoring for. We want the overpriced GPUs to be somehow worse. Thank you, NVIDIA, for not delivering on the high end, taking all of those chips and shipping them off to AI facilities, not giving us more performance there. And then when it comes to the mid-tier stuff, just being like, you know what these gamers could use with? Less! You get less! You get nothing! Good day, sir! That's you lose! That's what I want. You, not really. You're a Mac boy. Of course you like the company just Less is more. putting just... his foot on your neck and saying, you like this, don't you? I do. Okay, well, also with that, the leaker who is talking about the 4090 Ti indicating that the next generation GPU, the 5090, might have a key upgrade, at least in memory bandwidth, with a 512-bit memory interface, which would be an increase from what's currently on the 4090 whether or not that's gonna matter, whether or not that's because in NVIDIA's upgrading the memory bandwidth because they wanna prioritize their AI GPUs and they just effectively are trickling that down. How much this is gonna matter to gamers? It's just, we're gonna continue to be in this season of anti-consumer practices from these major companies because they're making their money elsewhere that are not the general everyday consumer. It's gonna be with these corporations. And again, I will continue to reiterate it because I believe it with every bone in my body, the only company that can save the gaming GPU market is Intel. They're the only ones who have a, a stake in things performing well. AMD doesn't need to. They're selling consoles fist over fist. Nvidia selling AI to tech bros and Intel is the underdog trying to fix things. I, I never saw myself rooting for Intel, but here we are. What a world 2023. What a world. And what, what world would be complete without me ending hot news? I don't know. I wouldn't want to live in that one. Obviously, continue to watch our stream over on Twitch, especially with LTX 2023 going on this weekend. We should be streaming the entire expo for everybody who could not attend, who wanted to make it, potentially got held up by work or other reasons, or didn't get a visa. Shut up! Uh, who, who, uh, who, who couldn't actually come because their passport is basically worthless on the world stage. It's green in color. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I'm sorry that we are leaving you behind in Seattle, but I'm going to have a fun time without you. Come have a fun time with me. I'll be, wa I'll be watching the stream. Please replace Reese in text form over on Twitch chat. And shout out to everybody who's currently watching Hot News being filmed live right now. We'll see you back here on Monday for more of the hottest tech news, my friends. Chippers.